Charging our iPhones is something that most of us do every single day, and still there are a ton of myths out there about charging your iPhone. Our first two myths are kind of intertwined. It's don't charge your iPhone overnight and don't let it completely drain down to 0%. It's totally okay nowadays to let your iPhone drain to 0% and to charge it overnight, which would mean that it's gonna go all the way up to 100%. Most people remember the days when if you didn't discharge your battery, if you didn't exercise your battery regularly, then it would just die, It'd stop working. No longer the case, and right. here's a direct quote from apple.com. Charge your Apple lithium ion battery whenever you want. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Don't worry about it. Apple built in smart battery charging where if you use the first 40% of the battery and then charge it back up to 100%, it doesn't use that same 40% the next time. The next time it's gonna use the next section of the battery. Yep. So you're never gonna be using the same section of the battery over and over again which is what used to happen with the old batteries, and then, yeah. Yeah, so one charge cycle is 100%. So 75 to 25, you charge it up to 70, bring it down to 20, that's 100%, that's one charge cycle. And iPhones are rated for 500 charge cycles. After that time, they'll still maintain about 80% battery capacity. Right, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, 500 cycles. Just to plug another one of our videos that you really should watch, the battery health number in the settings app, the percentage, is total BS. So watch our other video, we sort of debunk another bunch of myths over there. Yep. And uh, yeah, I think that you'll be surprised. Another less common myth, you shouldn't charge your iPhone straight out of the box. And I think this is people who are just afraid of, you know, they got their new iPhone, they don't wanna plug it in, break it, because Apple doesn't explicitly say, plug in your iPhone, but there's nothing wrong with taking your iPhone out of the box and charging it straight away. Yeah, most of the time though, it comes charged at 80%. Right. Somewhere in there. So you can, generally, you don't have to do that. Yeah. So let's talk about some tips we have for you. First of all, always use MFI certified cables. Right, MFI stands for made for iPhone. I used to think it was MFI. Yeah. Remember? I do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are Apple certified. They have a chip built into them. This is an Apple cable, so obviously it has the chip. If you don't use an MFI certified cable, you're gonna see that warning pop up on your iPhone. <laughs> this accessory is not supported. It's hard to find non-MFI certified cables these days. I mean, if you go on Amazon, all the Amazon basis cables are MFI certified, for instance, and any MFI cable, will say so on the box you buy it in, but you just avoid like the cheap gas station cables or the dollar store cables. Those are typically not the ones you wanna use. Our second tip has to do with wall chargers. Wall chargers don't get MFI certification, but you still need to be careful about which ones you buy. That's for sure. So you don't wanna buy one that's a fast charger that's not an Apple fast charger. And it has to do with the amperage of the charger. So this is a smart charger, Apple charger. But if you buy one that's like three amps, which is a lot of power to throw at an iPhone at once, it'll charge the battery too fast, which will cause the battery to heat up. Both of those things are bad for lithium ion batteries. Not a myth. Not a myth, that's a right. fact. That's a real fact. Our next tip, subscribe to this channel. Sounds cheesy, but we do have a lot of iPhone battery tips videos that will really help you need to charge your iPhone less. Exactly. Next, let's talk about low power mode. It's a useful feature when you're in a pinch and you can't get to a charger straight away, but it's not something you should be using all the time. Why not, David? Well, it means you have a software problem. If you have to turn it on when you're at 80% and your battery just drains crazy fast, there's a software problem with your iPhone that you should probably address. Yep, or less likely a hardware problem with your yeah. iPhone. You know, we talk about that a lot on this channel. Yep especially when there are new bugs, new iOS updates that come out. Yeah. There's always new problems with batteries. Subscribing is a great way to mitigate that risk. Yeah, 99% of iPhone battery problems are software related and low power mode turns off a bunch of these features in the background that we recommend turning off all the time anyway. So yeah. just do that. You won't really need to use low power mode. Exactly, but it's kind of an overkill thing too, right? Yeah. Like it turns some things off that maybe you want to have on. So right. our battery tips are not like turn off GPS and turn off everything on your phone because that's a way to save power but also we want to be able to use our phones let's talk about wireless charging a lot of people are concerned about the heat that wireless chargers give off and the heat that they give off is normal wireless chargers are simply less efficient than wired charging so the energy that can't be transferred turns into heat and it's normal for your iphone to get a little bit hotter Wow, this is a very technical explanation. Yeah. You can maximize the efficiency of your wireless charger by just placing your iPhone right on the center of the pad or MagSafe does it MagSafe. for you with some of the newer iPhones. Yeah, so if your iPhone is getting like blazing hot, that's a problem. Yeah. But if it's just getting warm, not a problem. Also these MagSafe chargers, they're not just for the newer iPhones. Any phone that supports Qi wireless charging can use a MagSafe charger because it is a Qi wireless charger with a magnet. With magnets. Apple on their website says that you can use a MagSafe charger with older iPhones, but it won't 
charge as quickly as a regular Qi charger would because of the smart Apple circuitry. So MagSafe, great for iPhone 12 and later, not the best for earlier iPhones, but they will work in a pinch. Yeah, sometimes we get comments from people too saying sometimes their charger works, sometimes it doesn't, it disconnects frequently. A lot of these charging issues are just caused by, you know, pocket lint building up in your iPhone's charging port. Yeah, the crazy. Yeah. This is a, such a good fix right so here. So if you got a brand new toothbrush or an anti-static brush, just start scraping out some of the stuff in here. I think a little bit just came out. Yep. But to scrape it out, you're having charging issues that will fix a lot of charging problems with your iPhone. Yeah, intermittent connection issues. And sometimes people try to jam in a cable when there's actually something in there and end up breaking stuff. I've seen rice in there. Yeah, people not try sure. to do that. Yeah. Try to clean out their lightning port with rice. Well, no, they- They, yeah, they got the rice they, up there. And they the, got the rice in there when they dropped it in the lake. Yeah. And then the rice is what breaks the phone. There's another myth, don't put your iPhone in rice. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Next. Quick tip for you, if you try to put your iPhone on a wireless charger and a wall charger at the same time, it won't work. When your iPhone is connected to a wireless charger, lightning port automatically gets cut off. I didn't know that. Yeah. I had no idea. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider clicking that join button below. You'll get your name up on the screen with all these great channel members who really do a lot to support us. Yeah, they help us get our videos out there and they help us to make videos like this, yeah. which we really appreciate it. We couldn't do it without their help. Thanks, Thanks for, wa for watching. Thanks for watching.